Hi, this is chapter 7 of the first tutorial on Cyrus. This, can, this is the final chapter and this uh, will deal with uploading a heritage report to the application. Okay, first thing is log in and get to the uh, dashboard. Pick your case that you would like to upload the report to and then click on edit. You'll see on the case header section the heritage report field is blank at the moment and this is where we would like to upload our uh, assessment. Okay, since this is a new report um, simply looking around for, for it won't find any matches but if the report was uploaded previously and you'd like to reference this report in this particular case you may do so as well. So let's create the heritage report. And we are going to fill in all the information. There are three tabs. Um, you are able to map the report if you like. If there's something specific within the development area um, that will add additional information to the application, then go ahead. Um, but this is not required uh, normally. The report images is again an optional field. You can upload uh, photographs for the specific report. Um, if those ava are available in addition to the case, then do so as well over here. Uh, the main section is the report name, so let's just call this test report, and the full official title of the report. Specify a type of report. It's say it's an HIA phase one. Uh, the date of the report. Uh, whether it's an approximate date, you can tick the box. Um, the commissioning company, that's who's paid for the report. Um, I'm going to leave that blank. And then the authoring company, let's say it's Sara. Okay, and then the authors. I don't think the applicant is going to show up here. No, there we go. Okay, and then down, you can add the authors in order. So if I want the first, second, third author in the right order, I simply click add and let's add Stephen John Davis as this next author. This will be deleted of course. Second. Okay. Uh, report file, this is the actual PDF or PDFs for this. Uh, other files, those are typically KML files or zip files uh, that uh, might contain additional information for mapping the report or something relevant to, to the report like an appendix of uh, site coordinates. Um, let's uh, only attach a PDF. I've got one waiting for, for us here. Let's pick out that one and we're going to upload that. And again the revision log rules apply. <coughs> Um, yes, and many of our uh, reports, there might be missing or incorrect, incorrect information in the archives. Um, please feel free to report that to your case officer uh, to make amendments to the uh, archive of reports. Um, but the responsibility is on you to capture the information correctly going forward. Um, great. Let's save this report. Give it a different name if you like um, to the file name. And that's it. So if there are multiple assessments, please go in and create a bibliographic entry for each one. Um, do not simply attach all the reports to one entry because there are different authors involved in different reports. Um, so you would click on add another item and fill in the fields correctly. These are different to simply attaching EIA documentation to a case. Uh, we do expect heritage reports to be filled in correctly and, in, and completely for our library. And that is, that is it. Um, hit save 
and you'll see a hyperlink appear on the case view for the report. There it is. This takes you to the full report. It references back to the case, and there's the PDF for download. Okay, that concludes the first tutorial for SARS and Chapter 7. Thank you.